Hello and welcome to Tenable, the show where naming a top ten can win you a top cash prize. For example, if I asked for the top ten things Aussies love on a barbie and you said shrimps, I'd say, good answer, mate. <laughs> but if you said ice cream, I'd call you a didgeridoofus. The more top tens our team can beat, the greater their jackpot will be. So let's meet today's team. It's the listening ears. <laughs> Hello, the listening ears. So tell me, why are you called that? Well, Warwick, we're uh, all Samaritans volunteers and we're from the South Wales Valleys branch. Oh, that's fantastic. Welcome, team. Here's hoping I can be a good Samaritan to help you win some Wonga. <laughs> OK, the listening ears, it's time to release the first question. Ten sports by trophies. OK, Dick, as team captain, you need to decide the best player for this one. I think probably Neil. Neil, please join me to play Tenable. <laughs> Neil, welcome to the game, sir. I'm very impressed with your waistcoat. Thank very dapper. Much. Although I don't like to be outdressed on this show. <laughs> 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 that is contractual. <laughs> now, apparently, we once met when I did a talk at Legoland. Even today, my boys, they're all adults now, but they're still mm. jealous I get to see you again. You gave us a great talk about being in Star Wars and, and, and stuff. I never like fabulous. to mention it normally. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good gig, Legoland. Get paid in bricks. <laughs> <laughs> right, Neil, let's add some bucks to that bank. Let's hope so. Here's how the game works. You need five tenable answers to put £1,000 in the prize fund and guarantee your place in the final. Now, Neil, you have one life, so you could make one mistake, but any more than that and you're out of the game. The team has three nominates to use across the show. If you can't think of an answer, you can nominate a teammate to provide one for you. Also, your team captain, Dick, can overrule one of your answers. So, are you ready to play Tenable? Yes, I'm ready. Limbering up and ready to go. So, here is your question again. Ten sports by trophies. I'll just clarify this for you. The Tenable Tower will show the names of ten major sporting trophies and the year each contest that they are associated with was first held. Or in the event of a series, the year the series ended. We are looking for the ten corresponding sports. In some cases, the trophy was not originally known by the name on the Tenable board. This is as of January 2022. All right then, Neil, here are your ten clues. Vince Lombardi Trophy, Uber Cup, Larry O'Brien Trophy, Copper America, Claret Jug, Melbourne Cup, Stanley Cup, Calcutta Cup, America's Cup, Venus Rosewater Dish. Let's get your first sport on the board, Neil. OK, uh, Claret Jug Golf. You're saying golf. Is golf our first tenable answer? <laughs> yep, there it is. But already into the swing of it, Neil. Excellent work. <laughs> OK. So what um, do you got next? I think I want to go Vince Lombardi for American football. He's saying American football. Is American football tenable? <laughs> Touchdown, uh, number one on this tenable list. Uh, Good work, Neil. America's Cup sailing. OK. Is sailing tenable? There it is. Well done, Neil. How are you feeling? Getting trickier now. Stanley Cup ice hockey. OK. Is ice hockey tenable? Well done, Neil. Oh. So look at the board. You're just one away from £1,000 and a place in the final. Um, You've still got a life, so you're safe. Football. OK, let's see. For £1,000 and a place in the final. 
Is football our fifth tenable answer? Marvellous Melody means you've got five tenable answers, so you've won a place in the final and £1,000 for your prize fund. Well done. Fabulous, thank now, you. Now, Neil, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five answers up there left to reveal. If you think you know more of them, you can play on. OK. The next tenable answer is worth £2,500. But do be warned, if you play on, you're on your own. You can't use your nominates and your captain's overall button has been deactivated. OK. So you still got a life which means you can make one mistake. All right. OK, so what's your next answer? I'm going to go for rugby, rugby union. For £2,500, is rugby union in this list? <laughs> yep, there it is. Nice try, Neil. Yeah? OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so that's like 2,500 that. into the prize fund. Well done. What do you want next? Cricket. OK. For £5,000, is cricket tenable? <laughs> Bad luck, Neil. That's untenable. That obviously had you stumped. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you've lost your life now, Neil. Be careful. Another incorrect answer means you'll be headed home through the vortex and you'll lose the money you've banked. Uh, I'll take my seat, if that's OK. <laughs> so, Neil, you've decided to take the money, we'll add the £2,500 to your prize fund and you'll be joining your Captain Dick in the final. Fabulous. So, before you sit down, though, we'll reveal these answers. So, team, any ideas over there? Tennis. Horse racing. Horse racing. Tennis, Tennis, horse racing. OK, well, let's have a look, shall we? The Venus Rosewater dish was for... Tennis. 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 There it is. The Melbourne Cup? Horse it's horse racing. Horse racing. That is horse racing. Larry O'Brien trophy. Baseball. Oh, it's basketball. Ah. You win the Uber Cup if you're playing... Badminton. Oh. So there they are. Easy when you can see them, ain't yeah. you? Yes. Yeah. Well, you've done very well. You've added £2,500 to your prize fund. Yeah. And you'll return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations, Neil. Thank well done. you. So look at this, team. You've got £2,500 in your prize fund. But can you add to that? It's time to take a look at your next list. The first ten named characters in Narnia in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. So, Dick, who's the best teammate for this one? <laughs> Meryl. Meryl, it's time to play Tenable. <laughs> Hello, Meryl. Hello. Welcome to the game. Thank you. So, Meryl, what do you do? I'm a retired civil servant. You're retired? You don't look old enough. Oh, thank you. you. <laughs> charming. <laughs> Very charming, thank you. Now, I understand you're in two book clubs. Yes. Now, are they nice social affairs? They are, yes. It's more of a wine club in one of them. Is it really? <laughs> book in one and glass yeah, in the other? Yeah, glass in the other, yeah. Okay. All right, then, Meryl, are you ready to play Tenable? I am. Let's take a look at your list again. The first ten named characters in Narnia in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. I will just clarify this for you. We are looking for the first ten characters in the story who are mentioned by name within the land of Narnia in the 1950 C.S. Lewis novel, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. As we are looking for named characters, the Robin who guides the children and the unnamed character who drives the sleigh are not tenable answers. For fairness, we are not including other characters who are mentioned once in passing, but do not appear again in the story. All right, then, Meryl, when you're ready, let's get your first answer on the board. OK, um... Peter. Is Peter our first tenable answer? <laughs> yes, he is there. Peter Pevensey, well done. 
So, Mel, how do you feel about this question? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it was easier when I was sitting there. <laughs> was now I'm standing here and it's a bit more difficult. All right then, Meryl. What do you got next? Lucy. Let's have a look. Is Lucy tenable? There she is, number one on this list. Right. Um, Edmund. Edmund. Is Edmund in this list? <laughs> yep, there he is, and number four. Well done. Well done. How are you feeling, Meryl? Yeah, yeah. Just one just You're came to good. me then. One just come to you, that's <laughs> excellent. <laughs> um Susan. Is Susan tenable? <laughs> yep. So look at that, you've got four correct answers on the board. You're now just one away from a place in the final and one thousand pounds. So if you want to nominate, this is your last chance to do so. Um, Aslan. OK. Is Aslan tenable? <laughs> well, Meryl, that joyful jingle means you've got your five tenable answers and you've won a place in the final. We'll also add £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done. Thank you. Now, the next tenable answer is worth £2,500. But be warned, if you play on, you'll be on your own. You can't use your nominates. You've still got a life, so you can give an incorrect All answer. Right. You might as well just Go hazard a guess it. here. Go for it. Is it hazard a guess? Um, the White Witch. So, for £2,500, is White Witch tenable? You weren't convinced, <laughs> were you? <laughs> so that's 2,500 into the prize fund. Well done, Meryl. What do you got next? I'm going to go with Black Witch. OK, I see what you've done there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, Meryl. For £5,000, is Black Witch tenable? Untenable. <laughs> so you've lost your life now. Be very careful. Another incorrect answer means you'll lose the £2,500 you've banked and your place in the final. Do you want to have another guess? Because you have lost the life. No, I'm going to sit down now. <laughs> sit down now. <laughs> yes, thank you. OK, Meryl, you've decided to take the money. Before you sit down, though, right. and I know you're desperate to... Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's reveal the missing that. answers, shall we? <laughs> so now the pressure's off, what would you have said next? I, no, I, they've gone from my head, no. I'm no not. more witches of other colours? No. <laughs> <laughs> OK, then, Meryl, let's, let's have a look. What is behind number 10? It's oh, Mrs Beaver. Yeah. OK, behind number 8 is... So we have Mr Beaver. Behind number 7 is... Morgrim Fenris Ulf. Gosh. And behind number 2 is... It is Mr Tumnus. OK, Meryl. You've done very well. You've added £2,500 to your prize fund, giving your team a total of £5,000. And you'll return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations, Meryl. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> After the break, the listening ears battle their next game board. Grab a treat, it's going to be sweet. Welcome back to Tenable, where the listening ears have been taken on our Towers of Ten. Neil and Merrill have made it through to the final and they have banked £5,000. 
Let's get straight on with our next Tower of Ten. The ten most recent winners of Love Island. OK, Dick, who's the right person for this one? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think they're laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're happy. Um, Jack. All right, then, Jack, please join me to play Tenable. Hello, Jack. Welcome to the game. Hello. So you're not a fan of Love Island? I can honestly say I have never watched a single episode oh. of Love Island. So in your mind, what do you think it is? Well, I know it's an island. <laughs> Good work. There are men and women on it. I think they're supposed to hit it off with each other. Are they? they say. OK. Yeah. So, Jack, what do you do? Um, I'm a digital implementation officer. Wow. So you're quite clever. Do you feel like this question is beneath you? <laughs> <laughs> I feel it's impossible. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, you told us you lived in Guernsey for 14 years. Yeah, Why did you leave? Years. Um, well, I decided I probably didn't want to live on a rock in the middle of the channel for much longer. You know, I hate to break it to you, Jack, but you've basically just moved to a bigger rock <laughs> with worse weather. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Jack, so are you ready to play Tenable? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So here is your question again. The ten most recent winners of Love Island. This is about the ITV UK reality series, Love Island. We are looking for the ten people to have won a series most recently, up to and including the series broadcast in 2021. So is that clear, Jack? That's mud. <laughs> <laughs> OK, then, Jack, let's get an answer on the board. I'm going to say Lucy. OK, let's see. Is Lucy our first tenable answer? Lucy was untenable. That was a surprise. You have lost your life, Jack. Yeah. But don't forget to use those nominates. Um, no, I'm going to keep the nominates, just okay. in case. And I'm going to say Danny. All right, let's have a look. Is Danny tenable? <laughs> yeah, Danny Dyer there, number seven. <laughs> Well, Jack, you really are a fan, aren't you? You're a closet <laughs> Love Island watcher. <laughs> so, look, just four more to go. I'm going to, I'm going to use one nominate. Are I'm you? going to nominate Meryl. Cheeky thing. So, Meryl, you've been nominated. How's your knowledge of Love Island? Uh, pretty good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you got an answer for Jack? I have, yeah. Um, Liam. Do you agree with her? I, yes, 100%. OK. <laughs> so, let's see. Is Liam tenable? Liam Reardon there at number one. Well done, Meryl. So that nominee worked, didn't it, Jack? It did. Excellent. All right, then, Jack, what do you got for me? Anything else? I'm going to guess one. Are you? And then, hopefully, <laughs> Meryl will help me out. <laughs> I'm going to guess Alex. You're saying Alex? Alex. OK, let's see. Why not? To keep you in the game now, Jack. Yeah. Is Alex tenable? That was untenable, Jack. So, sadly, you haven't added any money to your prize fund and you have not secured a place in the final. Bad luck. Before we say farewell, though, let's reveal these missing names. So, Meryl, what do you think? Who are the rest? Uh, Millie. You've got Millie. Um, Jack. Oh. Paige. Finn. Wow, you Greg, are a fan. Amber. Greg. So, Dick, I think you chose the wrong person. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> But Meryl had already gone. So. <laughs> exactly. You thought she'd be good at the books. Yeah. Okay. Behind number ten we have. It's Kem Setine. Oh, number know. nine is Amber Davies. Number eight, Jack Fincham, which is what you said, Meryl. Yeah. Number six, Greg O'Shea. Number five, Amber, Amber. Gill. Mm. Two Ambers. Yeah. Number four. Paige Turley, 
Number three. Finn. Finley Tap. And number two. Millie. Millie Court. Mm. So there's the list. Oh, well, Jack, it saddens me to say, you are terrible at Tenable. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. Off he goes into the vortex, a black hole even bigger than the one between his ears. <laughs> we have one last list before Captain Dick faces his tower and attempts to win back Jack ahead of the final. Their prize fund currently stands at £5,000, but can they add to that pot? Now, Jill, you're the only teammate left to play, mm. so let's hope you're the right person for this one. Please come and play Tenable. <laughs> Hello, Jill. Hello. Welcome to the game. So, uh, what do you do? I'm a student at the moment, Warwick. Excellent. What are you studying? I'm studying mental health science. Oh, that sounds very interesting. Mm, it is. Now, I believe you help with a Kids Keep Fit class. Yes, I volunteer with an organisation called Kids Fit, which is inclusive fitness and wellbeing classes for oh, children. Good. Now, I've always taught my kids to be healthy. I make them run to the shop for my donuts. <laughs> 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 OK, Jill, it's time to battle this board. You've got a life and two nominates, and your Captain Dick has the overall button. So, are you ready to play Tenable? Yes. OK, then. Here's your question. Ooh. The ten cocktails beginning with the letter M. We're looking for the ten cocktails with names that begin with the letter M. This is according to the list published on the official International Bartenders Association website as of the 15th of December 2021. Is that clear, Jill? Yes. So, do you like a cocktail? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> and Ben Merrill likes a cocktail. I do. <laughs> <laughs> OK, good luck with this then, Jill. Let's Thank get you. your first answer on the board. Manhattan. Manhattan. Mm. Is Manhattan a tenable answer? Mm. Yes, it is. Well done. Mojito. A mojito. Good. Is mojito tenable? <laughs> there it is. Well done. You doing OK? Or are you feeling a little shaken? <laughs> Another one, possibly. That'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> margarita. Let's see. Is margarita tenable? Yeah, there it is. Good work. So that is tequila, orange liqueur and lime juice. So how are you right. feeling about this now? You have two nominates remaining. Uh, can I nominate Dick? Please? OK, Dick, you have been nominated. Can you help Jill out with a cocktail here? Mai Tai. He's saying Mai Tai. So, Jill, do you want to accept his answer? Yes, please. You trust him with this? I do. OK, let's see, shall we? Is my tie tenable? <laughs> yeah, there is at well number done, one. Dick. Good work. Mm. Well done, Dick. Excellent use of your nominate there. So you're just one answer away from £1,000 and a place in the final. This is your last chance to nominate in your game. OK. I'd like to nominate Meryl, please. All right, then, Meryl. Here's your chance. Show us your stuff. <laughs> OK. Um, a Moscow mule. Ooh. Ooh. Meryl says a Moscow mule. Do you trust her? I trust Meryl, yes. OK, so for £1,000 and a place in the final, is Moscow Mule our fifth tenable answer? <laughs> well done. Yes. Well done. Well done, Jill. Thank you, well done, Meryl. <laughs> so that lovely tune means you've got five tenable answers and you've secured your place in the final, plus we'll add that £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done. Now, Jill, you can stop here if you wish. If you think you know more, you can play on. 
Your next correct answer is worth £2,500. But do be warned, if you choose to play on, you're on your own. You can't nominate uh -huh. anyone to help you, and Captain Dick cannot overrule you. You've still got a life, so you can make one mistake. Um, mudslide? A mudslide? Ooh, sounds delicious. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Good, Let's have a look, shall we? So, <laughs> for £2,500, is mudslide tenable? Jill. Untenable. Nice mm -hmm. idea, though. It was. So, you've lost your life now, Jill. What do you want to do? I'll sit down. Thank you, Warwick. OK, Jill, you've decided to take the money. We'll add the £1,000 to your prize fund. And you are guaranteed a place in the final with your captain. Thank you. Before you sit down, though, let's reveal these missing cocktails, shall we? What's behind number nine? <laughs> a monkey gland. <laughs> Not add one of those. So that's gin, orange juice, grenadine and absinthe. Oof. Wow. Oof. Number seven. It's a mint julep. Oh. Mm. Oh. Number six. Mimosa. Ah. Number five. A Mary Pickford. Number four. Martinez. Wow. Jill, any the wiser? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. Well, you've added £1,000 to your prize fund, giving your team a total of £6,000. And your return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations, Jill. Cheers. Yay. After the break, Captain Dick bids to bring back Jack and top up that pot. Grab a Sani and I'll be back like Arnie. Welcome back to Tenable, where we've been testing the listening ears with some brain-bothering game boards. There's just one more chance for the team to add to their £6,000 jackpot, and this time it's down to their skipper, Dick, to take on the tower. Now, as you're the captain, you'll definitely be taking part in the final, but this is your chance to get your team in the best possible shape before you play for the jackpot. Are you up to it? Hope so. Dick, please come and play Tenable. Go on, Dick. Dick, you look concerned. Well, <laughs> you knew this moment was coming eventually. I did. I'm just sorry I had to throw Jack under the bus. But, uh... <laughs> so you're going to try and win him back? Try and win him back, yeah, definitely. Excellent. So, Dick, I understand you're a military man. Yes, I did 24 years in the army, Warwick, yeah. Brilliant. You know, I love soldiers, especially eggy ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dick, it's time to play Tenable. Right. Just like the previous rounds, there's another potential £25,000 up for grabs. As always, you need five correct answers to get onto the money ladder. But this time, on your fifth correct answer, you'll have a big decision to make. Take the £1,000 for your prize fund or forego the cash to win back Jack. He's waiting in the wings, desperate to help you win that jackpot. You've got one life and your team have left you with no nominates. And, of course, you can't overrule yourself. OK, here's your question. Ten mammals by species, subspecies or breed. The Tenable Tower will show part of the names of ten animal species, subspecies or breeds. We're looking for the ten words that complete the common names of these animals, which are all mammals. So is that clear, Dick? Yes. Excellent. OK, Dick, here are your ten clues. Screaming Hairy, Greater Horseshoe, Grizzly, European Roe, German Shepherd, Hazel, Fennec, Clydesdale, Brown-throated Three-toed and Sperm. So those are the ten species. Yep. Let's get your first answer on the board. OK. Um, sperm whale. OK, let's see, shall we? Is whale tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done. It's a good start, yeah. Big sigh of relief there. So what's your next answer? Uh, Clydesdale horse. You're saying horse. Is horse tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. Well played. So, Dick, what you got next? Um, German Shepherd dog. You're saying dog. Is dog tenable? Yeah, 
There it is. You're doing very well here, Dick. Grizzly bear? You're saying bear. Is bear tenable? Look at this, you're just one away from £1,000 or the chance to win back Jack. OK. Um, European roe deer. Let's see, shall we? Is deer tenable? That lively milk means you've got your five tenable answers. Well done, Dick. But now you've got a big decision to make. Take the £1,000 for your prize fund, or would you like to win back Jack? Uh, we'll have Jack back, please, Warwick. That's great, so that'll be your entire team joining you in the final. Yep. So now, as always, you can play on. Another correct answer will put £1,000 into your prize fund. You've still got your life, so uh, you're perfectly yep. safe at this point. Um. Greater horseshoe bat. You're saying bat. For £1,000, is bat tenable? <laughs> Did you know that or was that a guess? No, I think I knew it. Oh, well done. Um. Brown throated, three toed sloth. Mm. Okay. For £2,500, is sloth tenable? Good. Good. Fantastic work, Dick. Well done. So you're three answers away from a perfect 10 and £15,000 now. You've still got your life. I'm into guesswork now, Warwick. Um, screaming hairy baboon. OK. So, for £5,000, is baboon a tenable answer? I'm afraid, Dick, that was untenable. There is no such thing as a screaming, hairy baboon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, then, Dick, you've lost your life now. So be careful. Another incorrect answer, and you'll lose Jack. And £2,500. No, I'll take my seat now. I thank you. You sure? Yeah. Before you sit down, though, let's reveal the missing answers, shall we? Okay, a fennec is. a fox. Oh. Hazel. Oh. Dormouse. Oh. And a screaming hairy what? Spider. Armadillo. Oh, God. What? That's a surprise, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, you played very well, Dick. You've added £2,500 to your prize fund and brought back Jack to help you in the final. That means your team will be playing for a grand total of £8,500. <laughs> Let's hear it for Dick. Congratulations. Ooh, well done. Coming up. The listing is Quest for Cash reaches its conclusion. Brew, Lou, back in a few. <laughs> Welcome back to Tenable, where the listening ears have all their players in the final and are playing for the sizzling sum of £8,500. Well played, team. Now, Jack, your Captain Dick managed to bring you back into the game was there a moment you thought he might not bring you back? Uh, no, I was always confident he was going <laughs> to jest about when I shit. <laughs> well, the listening is, to take that prize money home, you're going to have to give me every answer up there and achieve a perfect 10. Get 10 out of 10 and you'll be walking away with that groovy £8,500. It's time to face your final tower of 10. <laughs> For your final list, you have two categories to choose between. Let's take a look. Old Testament, European geography. So, team, what do you like the look of? 
Geography? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Geography? Yeah. yeah. European geography, please, Warwick. So you're going for European geography. From this point on, there is no conferring. On your turn, you say one answer and nothing else. Let's reveal your final list of ten worth £8,500. The ten capital cities nearest Stockholm. We're looking for the ten national capital cities that are nearest to Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. So, Dick, please take your position. So, how do you feel about this question? Um, I think amongst the five of us, we might <laughs> just about get there. <laughs> OK. When you're ready, Dick, please give us your first answer. Uh, Helsinki. Is Helsinki our first tenable answer? <laughs> there it is. Well done, Dick. Excellent work. Neil, please step forward, sir. So, Neil, is this the uh, category you wanted, geography? Well, I think collectively we're, <laughs> we're OK. We'll find out at the end. Oh, good. <laughs> so, what's your answer? Oslo. Is Oslo tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. That is the third closest city to Stockholm. Well done, Neil. Thank you. Come on, Emeril, your turn. So, Meryl, what do you think of this question? Not bad. <laughs> Not Love Island or booze, is it? No. <laughs> Let's have another answer. Copenhagen. Is Copenhagen tenable? <laughs> yep, there it is. Well done, Meryl. OK, then, Jack, please step forward now. Welcome back, Jack. Thank you. So you were thrown under the bus by Dick? Yeah. Can you redeem yourself now? Uh, yeah. No, I was just taking the one that was in my <laughs> mind. Um, I'm going to say Berlin. Let's see, shall we? Is Berlin tenable? Nice one, Jack. Well done, sir. Right, Jill, you're up next. Please step forward. So look at the board. Four out of four so far. Can you make it five out of five? Budapest. Is Budapest tenable? That was untenable, Jill. So I'm afraid we have to say goodbye to you. Thanks for playing. Thank you. Come on then, Dick. Please step forward. You've lost your first team member. Yeah. Yeah. Um, London. Let's have a look. Is London tenable? Tenable. Captain Dick, we have to say goodbye to you, sir. Thanks, Warwick. Neil, please step forward. So, Neil, remember, we're looking for the ten capital cities nearest to Stockholm. Bruges. Is Bruges tenable? Bruges is not a capital city. So, Neil, we have to say goodbye to you, sir. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Thank you. Meryl, please step forward. <laughs> Pressure's on. Indeed it is. Yeah. So um, you've lost three of your teammates mm, now. Mm. Tallinn. Tallinn. OK, 
Okay, let's have a look. Is Talon tenable? Very good, now. So you're not just booze and love Ireland after all. <laughs> Come on then, Jack, please step forward. Minsk. OK. Is Minsk tenable? <laughs> yep, there it is. Well played, Jack. Well done. Come on then, Meryl, your turn again. Come on, you can do this. Um, Riga. Is Riga tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done, Meryl. Come on then, Jack, please step forward. Well, look at this board, Jack. Three correct answers stand between your team and £8,500. I'm going to say Warsaw. Is Warsaw tenable? <laughs> yes, well done, Jack. Excellent stuff. Right, more pressure. Come on, step to the mark now, please, Meryl. OK, then, Meryl. £8,500 if you win this board. Come on, you can do this. Vilnius. To take you one step closer to £8,500, is Vilnius in this list? Yes, it is. Wow. Well done, Meryl. Excellent work. Come on in, Jack. So here you are, Jack, back from the vortex. Just one answer standing between you and £8,500 and a perfect 10. I think this might be a little bit too far away, but Moscow. Saying Moscow. So for £8,500, is Moscow our final tenable answer? Jack, that was untenable. I'm afraid we have to say goodbye to you, sir. Thank well you. played, though. <laughs> OK, then, Meryl. Just you, me, the tenable tower, mm. and one missing answer. Mm. Have you got it in your brain? <sighs> Take your time. Yeah. Think about this. You have played so well across the show. I can only think of one, actually. That's all we need. I'm going with Reykjavik. Just going for it. OK. So, to give you a perfect 10 and £8,500, is Reykjavik our final tenable answer? was untenable, uh. which means, unfortunately, you haven't managed to top the tower today and you won't be going home with that £8,500. So close. It's such a shame. Yeah. So Reykjavik is 1,320 <laughs> miles away. Too far. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Right, let's see that missing answer, shall we? What is behind number 10? Oh. It's Prague. Oh. I thought that was too far. Bad luck, team. You do such a great job at the Samaritans. You're a really great group of people, and thanks for thank everything you. you do. Yeah, thank you. But by way of consolation, you'll each be heading home with a very special tenable tea towel. Wow. <laughs> so there you have it. They listened, but obviously not in school. Bad luck, team. <laughs> Join us next time when five more contestants play tenable. Goodbye. <laughs>